Hi everybody, uh, this is a video response to my mate 51 Foxy on what you got for Christmas. Uh, now, uh, I have a good, very good friend of mine who's in the Royal Marines and 4-2 uh, Commando he's in. Anyway, uh, he got um, in, uh, injured in Afghanistan, uh, an IED explosion. Um, uh, he was seriously injured, but he didn't lose any limbs. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's, he's in rehabilitation and he's had to... Well, his military career has come to an end. Uh, he's been pensioned off. Um, so, uh, he knew I liked bushcrafting and camping. And um, he says, Bri, uh, I've got some kit for you there. You can have, uh, make use of it. And enjoy your time in the woods which he knows I do anyway uh, but over Christmas we met up had a drink with him and he come round and he said uh, there's there's my kit uh, every item been well used which I sort of like kind of like uh, it's been well used and the actual some of the items was he was actually using when he uh, encountered the IED explosion. Um, so a, lot, a bit of the kit's got really personal meaning. Uh, now, you know, I'm just honoured that uh, this 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 kind of lad who I've known for donkey's years, um, and I remember him doing his training for the Royal Marines, and. He said it was the toughest thing of his life. <laughs> anyway, he finally he passed and he uh, he ended up with the four two commando. And um, when he was in Afghanistan, there was a documentary on on the telly called uh, Commando on the Front Line, and uh, a filmmaker I think he's called Chris Terrell went through basic training with them and ended up uh, going on the front line with him. Anyway, uh, you, can, you can Google that or watch on YouTube. And my mate's in a couple of the, the, um, couple of the programs that he made, uh, but obviously. Anyway, uh, this is the response to Foxy51, what I got for Christmas. So this is just a kit and I'll go through some of the items that he's kindly given me. So, uh, First off, uh, that's just a, a cover to go. This is his day pack. Um, uh, inside here is a few dry bags. I'm just going to go through it pretty quickly. So a few dry bags in there. Um, Far looks like after asking, looks like a bayonet protector. Uh, some tape. I don't know if that goes on the end of a gun, not too sure. Uh, so that's his day pack, uh, probably about 25 30 litres, two side pockets. I'll get used. A pair of uh, leather insulated gloves is given me. Now for his main pack. Uh, as you say, I think they had to have this on in, in Afghanistan for the camouflage he was telling me. 
<coughs> this is how they flew it home. So there's, they just badge it and so that's his name uh, and his number and so I think I'll probably leave that on. So as I say this is his pack uh, that he was actually wearing when um, the explosion went off. So in the top bit head torch two little pouches another little pouch this is well used this one <laughs> he got attached to this pack he, um, he was telling me uh, you know when you do when you do the the Royal Marines you have a four commando tests at the end and he said he was doing his 30 miler that's the last one uh, and he got about a mile in and he said he hit a wall uh, you know they, they were going to pull him off and make him redo it but he got through it uh, and he said it's the toughest thing he's ever done in his life he's put in a brand new pair of uh, Arctic uh, boots for me. Now I said these are proper cold weather ones that they, they wear when they do the Arctic training in Norway. Uh, wow. And that. His actual um, smocking, his actual. Yeah. Uh, show you that. Royal Marines Commando. jacket now I know what these are so I won't get them out there that's softy uh, if you're not familiar with the army softies they're reversible and uh, they're just like a cold weather thing. so that's the jacket Uh, the waterproof trousers. That's uh, an inflatable three-quarter mat. As I say, I know I've been through this stuff, so I know what it is. Inside there is um, a bivy bag. Uh, it's full Gore-Tex bivy bag, so. I say I've had all this stuff out. That's the softy trousers. Now these are all thermal wear. Probably won't fit me. He's, uh, he's a lot thinner than me. Uh, thermal top. Thermal bottoms. Uh, thermal over top Let's put two of them in another thermal over top uh, that's a yoke if you want to detach uh, these these rocket pouches they're detachable and can be put on a yoke like on a day pack so that's it in the main compartment. Uh, there's a 
bottom part here and the little military shovel put that back in there in the side pouch the bivy poles are the basher poles and in this side pouch is his actual basher and he's uh, is, is, is got it all rigged up and ready just for our bungeeing all, all rigged up ready to be put up uh, in very quick time so that's that's the kit he's given me uh, you know and I feel quite honoured for him to pass it to me I say he's a very good mate of mine uh, and talk about fit God <laughs> you know uh, He's gonna. Um, he's inviting me down to. He lives in Plymouth. He's still in uh, Plymouth. I say he's in a rehabilitation unit. Um, but I'm gonna go down. He's gonna take me on Dartmoor, and he's gonna show me, introduce me to some of his comrades, uh, four two commando. We're gonna have a couple of nights out, and he's gonna. Take me on Dartmoor and we're going to do some camping, wild camping, uh, military style. So I'm looking forward to that, Gav. Uh, it's called Gavin, my mate. Uh, I'd say he's a cracking lad. And so, I'd say there's his pack. And it's got a special meaning, uh, this, because it's seen military use and it was the actual pack he had on or some of it was I don't know if he said the, the rocket pouches or the actual pack is what he had on when he was in Afghanistan used um, so it has got special meaning and thank you very much my mate So that's what I got for Christmas. Uh, obviously, I got other presents uh, off my uh, beloved woman, and um, and I'd just like to thank uh, everybody uh, who sent uh, condolence cards and letters. And I'll tell you what, we must have had over two hundred and fifty cards and letters um, and I've had people from all four parts of the globe send letters and cards uh, wishing me well and and the loss of my woman um, I've uh, I've struggled quite a bit over Christmas and it's been a tough tough ride but uh, sort of like give myself a kick up the ass because uh, my my woman won't won't want me to sit and dwell. Um, as I say, we uh, we had nineteen years of a good life, and I'm gonna take that forward. So. Uh, I'm going to Camp Baza, looking forward to meeting up with everyone and that's at the end of January and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna start getting out again. Um, I went through a little stage where I fell out with the world and I fell out with everyone. No, nothing personal, it's just you feel as if you've been robbed. You really do feel as if you've been robbed. Uh, and I don't know and oh god sure 
Anyway. So I've got to camp as a and I'm gonna in have a good good time with all the lads and uh, can't wait to meet you all and and we'll have our Christmas do guys, yeah? And we'll enjoy it. So anyway, that's the video for what I got for Christmas and I'd like to thank my mate Gavin. Uh, he's a special, special friend to me. Uh, all the best. And he's got two lovely, two lovely kids. And it's, you know, I wish him all the best for his future. And, uh, and I can't believe he's given me this kit, you know. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling on. So, um, bye for now.